In an earlier study, we demonstrated that cannabis use in people with a psychotic disorder is related to a lower BMI. In this follow-up study, we investigated whether the ACT1 gene could explain the relation between cannabis use and BMI. Our reasoning was that cannabis could activate the enzyme corresponding with the ACT1 gene and that this could lead to changes in BMI. In 623 patients between the ages of 15 to 50 years, we found that people with a certain risk version of the ACT1 gene had a greater chance of using cannabis than people with another version of the gene. But there was no relation of the ACT1 gene with BMI. So although we again demonstrated that cannabis use is associated with lower BMI in people with psychotic disorders, and we found that a risk version of the ACT1 gene increased the chance of these people using cannabis, we did not find evidence that the ACT1 gene can explain the relation between cannabis use and BMI.